Greetings YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to set up your own testing server that will allow, allow you to test your websites before you deploy them to the live web. You'll be able to see uh, websites and their full rich content on your own computer, on your own personal computer. And I'm going to be using Windows 7, you could be using Linux, uh, Mac, it really doesn't matter. Because all of the software we're going to be talking about is compatible with all three of those systems as far as I know of. Um, first of all, you're gonna you're gonna need a testing server. So, WAMP is the Windows testing server software that I use. You can only also use XAMPP if you're a Windows user, but I highly suggest WAMP. I highly suggest it. If you're using Mac, go with MAMP. If you're using Linux, uh, of course, LAMP. And let's just find uh, WAMP server. Whoops, my typing is atrocious today. Um, and here we go. Go to downloads. Make sure you go to wampserver.com slash en. Um, if you are an English speaker, you're going to want to do that because wampserver.com is originally either French or Spanish. I can't remember. I believe it is uh, French. I can't remember, to be honest. And if you have a 64-bit system like myself, download this one. 32-bit uh, if you are a 32-bit user, obviously. I've already taken the liberty of downloading and installing it. I assume that most of my viewers can do that. Uh, <laughs> I'm um, just, you know, going out on a limb here, and uh, so that's, we're going to skip that part, <laughs> and let's go ahead and change some settings in WAMP. Start up your WAMP server, and here's some settings you're really going to want for my tutorials. Uh, first of all, let's go into PHP any and change some PHP settings. Control F to find and look for short and keep clicking it maybe four or five times maybe six until you get down here to short underscore open underscore tag is equal to on if it is on you're good to go make sure it is on if it is off turn it on you are going to want this this is very very important you are going to want this what this essentially does is makes it so instead of having to type out this to uh, start up a PHP, uh, PHP code you only have to type that. So yes, it is very important and very helpful. <laughs> so make sure that is set to on. And now let's search magic. And keep searching that until you find magic underscore quotes underscore GPC equal to off. If it is off, you are completely fine. If it is on, turn it off. Because in the future, some of our applications are going to be using this as are, are going to need this to be off. If, they are, if it is on, it could interfere. So make sure this is off. Uh, so that's fine. And that is all we need to edit in php.any. So close that. If you did have to change it at all, restart all services in order to make those changes take effect. Uh, another thing that you're going to want to do is go into Apache, Apache modules, and scroll down until you hit rewrite module. Make sure this is checked. If this is not checked, click it. Your WAMP will restart, but that needs to be on, so make sure that is on. Alright, so WAMP is now properly configured. Uh, let's get a text editor, shall we? Now, in my experience, I don't like Dreamweaver. I don't like any artsy type of program like Dreamweaver. I think that is for a person who is artistic and wants a cheap lame website. Dreamweaver is next to useless for a proper programmer. Um, make sure you get a decent coding environment. P uh, Dreamweaver is first of all over the top and expensive. You don't need it. Uh, it's too much money for what it is. And if you pirate it, well good for you, but here's the thing. Um, <laughs> it's really not worth it. It's not worth the download. So, in my experience, I use Notepad++. You can also use just the generic Windows Notepad, but you'd be crazy if you did. I, I don't understand why anyone would do that. So, just get Notepad++. And that's what I'll be using for my videos. It looks like this. Uh, it actually normally looks like um, this. But I changed the uh, theme and the style configurator to Zenburn because I think it's easy on the eyes. I like coding in a dark environment like this. Uh, there's less white space to annoy me and irritate my eyes, and I can overall code much longer. Um, it just 
doesn't deteriorate the eyes as a normal notepad system would. So I suggest coding in this type of language and in, in this type of environment. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's all up to preference. Just uh, just just a uh, example. And this I have on the side Explorer is a plugin you might want. If you're going to be using Notepad++ and taking my word for it, then you'll you may want this Explorer plugin. So let's just search Notepad++ Explorer and you can find it here. Now it's going to if you click on this link, you're going to find that it has been moved and just click on the moved link here, Notepad++ plugins and go to files and it should be halfway down the page about uh, it's gonna say explore my eyes are betraying me right now um, now there's light explorer and explorer I would go with explorer and once you click on it there will be multiple different versions just download the latest version folks uh, it doesn't really matter but definitely get the latest version. <laughs> so I'm not going to download it because I already have it, but the way you would install it, actually I am going to download it so I can give you an example. Well, no, I'm not actually. All right, once you download it, it'll be a DLL file. You're going to need to take that DLL file and move it into your plugin folder on your notepad installation. Now I'll give you, I'll show you where that's at. Uh, if you go to your notepad installation right here, notepad++, and you find plugins, just move the DLL in here. See, myexplorer.dll is right there. And then restart notepad, and go into plugins, explorer, and make sure that it is enabled. And here it is, right here. So, that's explorer plugin, and that is notepad, and that is getting your web server up and running so you can test websites. Um, you can view your website by going to uh, localhost. You can view your databasing or your your MySQL databases by going to PHP MyAdmin. Uh, you can go to the directory your website should be in by going here. I have created a website called TutSite, which I will be using to make websites and the following tutorials. Um, you should do the same if you want to follow my tutorials. And um, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope you'll follow me in my next few tutorials. This one was kind of just a basic one to get people started. Most people have a testing server up and running. I will admit that. But some of you ha don't. So I, I, I had to make this video. I'm sorry if it was boring. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm, I'm over and done with this. Uh, signing off. See you in my next one.